but there's new there's a soundboard on on discord now this is crazy wait let me i want to see if it plays i guess quack Hi, welcome to the podcast. I'm Joyce Linear Player One, and today I'm recording Indie House at like nine in the morning because uh, my roommate's out. But today, Indie House, we've got Pick Whip by Cookie Crayon, and it's a single player or co op parkour game. Uh, and a short premise is make your way to the summit. Will you go alone or with a friend? And there's no content warnings. It's free, available on itch.io for Mac, Windows, and browser. I played for 15 minutes, and my consensus is you definitely should play this game with another person because it is very, very difficult to play alone. I just have really bad eye co- hand-eye coordination, uh, so it was terrible for me because I was using two different, like I, I was doing all of the controls for both of the characters. Uh, since it's like, it's not remote co-op, so you can't play with someone that isn't with you. Uh, you both have to be playing on the same computer, on the same device, using the same keyboard. So either way, it's kind of like, um, Fireboy and Watergirl, if any of you remember that game from, like, cool math games. Uh, I used to be pretty good at that game, but the kicker is with this game your characters are attached so you have to like time everything correctly and that's really hard to do when it's only one person playing um before we start uh if you don't know i record this podcast on discord because it it's good for when i have guests it's easy to split tracks and things like that I use uh, the bot Craig to record, um, which is, if you and any of you know Craig, he, he's, he yells at me every time I start recording. Um, <laughs> but there's new, there's a soundboard on, on Discord now. This is crazy. Wait, let me, I want to see if it plays. I guess, quack. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to see if that worked. Um, I feel like that's so silly. Anyways, um, and now for your gameplay, gameplay wise, uh, like I said, you both have to be playing on the same computer, the same device. So the controls for the first character, for character one, are WASD, and the controls for the second character are the arrow keys. And those are the only controls for the game. You don't have to click anything. You're just trying to get up the, like, mountain of the cliff side. Uh, but it's parkour, obviously. And, like I said before, the characters are attached by, like, a string. So they can only go so far away from each other. And my problem was that I would get one character up to where I needed them to get. And then the second character would, like, slide off slowly. Because it's like a mountain peak like at the top of a mountain so it's like snowy or whatever and your characters can slide down and that was my problem because I couldn't move both characters at the same time really because I was like focusing on one character at a time and um so I just didn't have the coordination to do that but I mean, that's okay. That's fine. It makes sense. It was, it made it more interesting, honestly, that way. Cause I would have just left one of the characters, honestly, and done it with one character, but it makes it more interesting to have to control two. If you want to play by yourself, you have to control both. Um, the graphics and the visuals are pretty simple. The like mountain itself is just a bunch of shapes. Uh, like a different a bunch of different like random shapes and they like i said they're all white basically because it's like snow or whatever and your character can slide off of it which yeah um and the characters are like pretty much the only thing that have any type of color they're pretty colorful 
Uh, but they're like the only thing that has color, which I guess helps with the, the like completely white background. Uh, I just, yeah. Um, the music is good. It's just a little loop, you know? Most games like this just have a little loop because they can take forever to play. <laughs> um, and I don't really think there's any story, honestly, with this game. It just kind of, it's just kind of get up the side of the cliff. Uh, <laughs> and I guess for my favorite part, it's probably the music. Because um, it was cute. I liked it. Uh, nothing really more. There was nothing, eh, it wasn't like super special. I feel like maybe I would have liked it more if I was playing with someone else. But at the same time, this game is like not really very intricate or anything. It, it's pretty straightforward, so I don't know how much it would have changed, honestly. Like, I feel like it wouldn't have been like the game being more fun to play. It would have just been, oh, I'm playing with someone. Um, and that's fun because Playing games with people is fun, but yeah, um, my least favorite thing is probably just the fact that I had to have hand-eye coordination and I don't have hand-eye coordination, um, <laughs> which isn't a problem with the game, really. It's just, <laughs> it's just me. I'm just, you know, <laughs> I need to stop using the sound. Okay. Um, so, would I recommend this game? I think if you have someone to play it with, yeah, go ahead. If you're trying to play it by yourself and you don't usually play games like this that are like parkour based, then probably not. Um, just because it's kind of difficult and the whole controlling two characters alone thing. But if you want to play it as like some kind of challenge or something, I guess. Um, and from what I gathered, this game isn't very long. I didn't finish the game, obviously, um, because I'm not good at parkour. But it, it was created in 72 hours as part of the Mini Jam Summit. Um, and it's a prototype, and they're trying to develop the full game. So, like, it's not very long, I don't think. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a pretty short game. Uh, considering it was only it only took 72 hours to make uh, but obviously I can't guarantee that because I didn't get to the end but yeah I recommend it if you have friends if you don't have friends like me then maybe skip or challenge yourself maybe you can finish the game unlike me so for a final rating I give Picklip by Cookie Crayon, uh, 7 out of 10 tokens. Great job, Cookie Crayon. And thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Indie House. Be sure to rate the episode and let me know your thoughts. I've got a Discord server called Indie House Official, which would be a great place to give your feedback and talk to me, my collaborators, or other listeners of the show. If you have any indie game suggestions, feel free to comment below or hit me up at IndieHouse underscore pod on Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag IndieHouseGaming. And if you would like to support the podcast and get some cool extra content, you can find the Patreon in the card. Catch us next week on Spotify, Apple... Oh my goodness, I messed that up so bad. Catch us next week on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. See y'all in the next level. Bye!